Sorry. I had a brain. I don't know where it went. It just disappeared on me. <laughs> Jerry here with Rocky Hill Family Farmer. Wonderful spring day, actually second day of spring, and I had a come to Jesus moment yesterday and realized while I've been watching all my friends on YouTube planting their gardens and getting their seeds started, I realized crap, I don't have a single thing started or in the ground. So we're going to get some things started today. Beautiful day today, uh, 72 degrees, and I am behind in a big way. So we're going to get some seed trays started. We're going to do some new planters here that uh, I learned how to do these off watching Arms Family Homestead and Leon Sloan out of Kingston. We'll give them some credit in the credits down below the video at the end. And uh, But just got some cool stuff we're going to do here. And Ozzy and Katie are running around the shop here with me today. They're going to help. And we're going to have a great day. So let's get some things started. Okay guys, first thing we're going to plant, we're going to do some radishes some, and uh, some lettuce, a little bit of cool weather crop stuff that's going to come up pretty quick. Uh, the lettuce, a little slower than the radishes, but the radishes are about 21 days to germination and full growth. Uh, so let's get those started. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to plant in something that a, uh, a buddy of mine, actually watching his videos on YouTube, turned me on to Daniel Arms with Arms Family Homestead. Uh, now this isn't his invention either, but that's where I found the information and I think it's a really cool deal We're gonna try a couple. I've got some more tubs coming and we're gonna do a lot of our garden stuff this year In these tubs what these are, are protein and molasses Lit tubs that cows use a lot of farmers use them and A lot of times they end up using them for salt and mineral block for the cows later on they put them in there but what we're going to do is you see these flower pots here. Uh, Leon and Daniel said to use corrugated uh, French drain pipe. But I didn't have access to that. And I didn't have access to some of the other things that Leon had said to use. So I thought the cheap, expendable flower pots that they use at nurseries and stuff, I would get some of those. So what I've got, I've got, I got 12 of each of these these black and I've got 12 of these brown. Now what I'm going to do, since these are so flimsy, I mean you saw the pressure there, I didn't put much pressure on that at all and it folded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double these in the bottom. And what you do is you put these in the bottom of these tubs. And that gives you a space for the water because what these are is a self wicking planter that will actually pull the moisture from the bottom and water your plants where you don't have to water them all the time or at least as often here in the state of Oklahoma. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double up these pots, get them in here, Okay, made them a little more sturdy. Then what we do is we take a one inch piece of PVC, cut on an angle. The other one I've got is a scrap piece I had. I didn't have any more scrap. But you stick this down in the tub behind everything and that's how you water. You water through that down into the bottom of the tub and then the through the landscape fabric and everything else, it just pulls up the water through there and waters your plant while you're not there. Uh, there's only one drain hole in the tub, and it's at five inches. We'll drill that here in a second, and we'll show everybody how we do that. But let's get started on this, and we'll go from there. five inches from the bottom of the tub, maybe a little less, but what that'll do is give us our air gap so the plants don't drown out. And first time doing this, so let's see what we can do, see if we can get this started.
Okay guys, next step we gotta do here, we got landscaping fabric. I wanna be clear here, Leon, uh, Leon Sloan said to use commercial landscaping fabric, which I don't have access to right this minute. I've got some order on Amazon that will be in later, but I'm behind, I gotta get this done. So I bought store grade uh, landscape fabric to put in the bottom of the tub. Now what you wanna do is put your water, make sure your pipe is cut on an angle here so the water will uh, go into the tub easier and it won't create a little vacuum at the end of it to keep your tub from filling up. What you want to do with your landscape fabric is you want to push down in the center and make a well between the pots that you put in the bottom. still picture of the top of the tub here showed you what it looks like when it's all set up filled up we used about two and a quarter cubic yards of potting soil so when you put those pots in the bottom it really takes up a lot of the space and you don't have to use as much soil but it also allows two things it allows your plants to breathe and it allows you not to have to water these every day like you would with a traditional container that has holes in the bottom where the water just runs through your soil and runs out onto the ground, wasting all of your water and your time. So what we're gonna plant in this one, we're gonna plant a row of lettuce around the outside, a row of Swiss chard on the inside of the lettuce, and we're gonna plant uh, two or three kale plants down the middle. Now that doesn't sound like much, but I'm not trying to get an entire garden crop out of this one tub. It's really not that difficult of a task. It's a little cumbersome at times, but you can do this. Katie, come on. OK, 
Okay. First thing. Okay guys, second pot's done, took us about 10 minutes. After we figured out how to do the first one, it's a lot easier with the second. Like I said, Katie can do it, you can do it. So here's what we're gonna plant in this one. We've got four different types of radishes. We've got icicle short tops. We've got French breakfast radish. We've got sparkler white tips. And what's that one, Katie? settle up here and clean up and we're gonna start some peppers and tomatoes maybe tomorrow and do our seed trays tomorrow but we're gonna get some things growing here and uh, glad y'all joined us y'all be sure to like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell below make sure it's it's clicked and it'll get you automatic updates every time we upload a new video guys thanks for watching so much and we'll see you next time Bye.